from Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, Short Trips, Volume 11. It is with the greatest honour that I have been designated the Santaran Rearguard on Ubreus. Rearguard. If you stopped running, you could die with honour. I'd rather not die at all, thanks. It's better to die with honour than not to die at all. Let's agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> Messages from the dead. It hurts to be sidelined. To know he won't trust me with more. He needs someone like he needed Romana. The autopilot has lost control, he bellowed. Then turn it off, Romana called. No, that would be madness, boomed the doctor as he flipped several switches and grabbed hold of the yoke. I've taken manual control. He grinned manically as he adjusted the engine output and slowly steadied the room around us. What a brilliant idea. Romana congratulated him, pretending she was oblivious to the fact that it was identical to her suggestion. The Threshold. This is emergency program one. I am dead. I am the master. We're about to die. With no chance of escape, I will not die. Do you believe that striding around like that everywhere disguises your complete uncertainty as to where you are going? I'm trying to stay ahead of the spatial decoherence. Things are bad enough without us winking out of existence. Besides, she's your TARDIS. You really ought to know the way you're- Silence! Well, if you can't- Be silent, Doctor. Listen. There is something, something I cannot recall. It broke through in the crash. Something, something terrible. Death will not part us. She often thought of that first, last day. She had to, in order to load her weapon, but tried to never linger on its events. Not on when the wheezing harbinger materialized above Unity Hall, nor on when the sky splintered and the people became bodies and the bodies became dust. Not even on when she picked up the rifle that fell from broken heavens. Security guards rushed forward, but they were too late. Ignoring the ensuing panic, she aimed at the president's chest and fired. Fired and chest president. The and aim she. Fear of flying. A sudden shudder shook the aircraft and the skyliner dipped aggressively. An air pocket? She screamed, a short, sharp scream. Wiping her brow, the sleeve came back doused this time. She slumped back in her chair. After a moment, the doctor took off his glasses. Slipping them into his pocket, he looked around. I'd like to assuage your fears, Hawa, but you should be scared. Inside Story a short man with dark hair and a pale Panama hat smiles. Apologies, Miss Morton. I didn't mean to startle you. That's quite all right, I hear Diamina reply in my voice. I don't think these books are escapism. In fact, I believe they may hold more truths than your readers suspect. Big Finish for the love of stories.